Today, I wanna to give you guys the best export settings in Final Cut Pro for your YouTube videos. Nah, scratch that, scratch that. I'm not just gonna give you guys the best export settings. I'm gonna give you guys the best. The best. Well, Kaiser, Kaiser, everyone, welcome back to yet another video. And on this channel, we want to help you to make better videos. We want to help you in your content creation process. Now, to export your video, there are a couple of ways to do this in Final Cut Pro. And the first one is the most tempting one. Temptation, people. Temptation is everywhere. Now, here is why it's very tempting. It's very tempting because it's a preset, a preset, a YouTube export setting preset right there in Final Cut Pro. All you have to do is to press the export button on the top right of your screen and then click on the prepare to YouTube or Facebook option. But make sure to choose the best resolution settings before you export. And if you want better quality, guess what? Choose better quality in compression and you're all set. But that's not the best way. That's not the best way to export your video for YouTube. The best. Oh, it worked. Now to have the best export settings in Final Cut Pro, first of all, I always recommend that you edit your videos on a 4K timeline. 4K timeline because YouTube likes 4K video. So here is how you do it. You create your new project file, new project, and under video, you can choose 4K. Pick 4K so that you can have a 4K timeline. It's crazy because YouTube, no matter what you do, actually likes videos in 4K better than videos in HD. Even when you shoot your video, in HD, put it on a 4K timeline. That's what YouTube algorithm likes. The second thing you need to do is to edit on a two by one timeline. When the video is on a two by one aspect ratio, it maximizes the video's uh, real estate. When you watch it horizontally, it, it will fill up and fill out the entire screen. And also if you watch it on TV or on computer, it will look like a widescreen movie. So that experience is also there. That's a pretty cool experience. To have the two by one ratio, you will have to pick custom instead of choosing one of the presets there because those are 16 by nine. And on a 4K timeline, a two by one ratio will be 3840 by 1920. And there you go, you have your two by one aspect ratio on a 4K timeline. And now when you export it from Final Cut Pro, please choose the master file option and choose the best quality. There are different things that you can do there. You can export just the video, you can export just the audio. I don't know who's gonna export just the audio, but yeah, just in case you need that. You have more control with the master file option. So that's why that's the best export setting for your videos. Now here's the formula when it comes to export settings. The more compressed, the less quality, the less file size. So what we want to do is to try to find the best compression to have the best quality possible with the most manageable file size. And of course, there is already a setting for that, the codec 264, H.264. So just choose that option and you'll be set for your YouTube video. Now, if you don't have all these export options, don't worry. All you have to do is to go back to the share or export button and then choose add destination. A window will pop out and on your right, will you will see all the options, the export options. You can choose whatever you want there and drag and drop on the left side. Now, you it will be available whenever you export or you press on the export button. So if you guys like the tips and hacks and tricks and all that stuff, me and a couple of friends have been working on something for several months now, True Fam Media, an accountability group for content creators where we can come together and meet up, network, and try to get each other better. So sign up today for the free training. The link is down in the description and we'll be happy to have you guys. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great. I'm excited, I'm pumped, True Fam Media. That's all I have for today, guys, and if you got any value from it, push the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, push that notification bell so that you will never miss any content from this channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Peace.